Okay, let's get the drop shadow on. Let's get that set up real quickly. Um, on our instructions, it says, Mouse over to reveal the drop down menu. <clears throat> the box shadow on the content is the same as the W3 Schools example. All right. So let's jump over to the W3 Schools example. <clears throat> Let me fit it on my screen here so you can see it. And I'm at the W3 School CSS dropdowns. And I hope you looked at this where I posted the link earlier, but here is the box shadow example. So I'll just copy that and paste it right in here. Save. And let's take a peek at that. Whoops, that's going to be cheese. There it is. And there's the shadow. So we have a little more to do on this. Okay, now let's calculate some positions for this list. Um, the height of this current list is, uh, the text is 1 EM, right? 1 EM tall. And above it is 1 EM and below it is 1 EM. So, uh, an EM, the default font is 16 point and 16 times 3, 1, 2, 3, is 48. So that means that one coordinate for my absolute positioning is going to be 48 pixels from the top. Now remember, when I uh, schedule the coordinates for this, when I set them for this, I also have to set them for its parent, right? I have to tell the parent that it needs to be position relative so that my position absolute here can, can be correct. I'll show you what that looks like both ways. So let's go to, so right here on line 53, where we have everything we need, we are where we have position absolute, we will add top, 48px. Left, zero. Um, do I need to put px there? Maybe. Maybe I do. Let's just see what it looks like. Save. And here it is, but see? Do you see it over here on the top left? I can't move over there because then it d doesn't show. But that's because I haven't uh, told the parent container to be position relative. So let's do that. Oh, I guess I don't have a parent container styled yet. Okay. Main nav. li dot dropdown. Position. Relative. Save. And there it is. Now it's right where it needs to be. Right? Perfect. So for a last part of this task, I need to give these a width. And that will be on the main nav. Li dot drop down hover and drop down content. So let's find that. I know I had that here. Here it is. So it's going to be under left, and we will just say min width. No, we don't want to say none. We want to say uh, W3Schools recommends 160. I think I tried this earlier, and it might have been too big, but let's check it out. It's not bad. I see that it's like a pixel off, but I'm going to be okay with that for now. We can fudge around later. So according to my, I am almost there with this menu. According to my result, let's look at this one. I need a black, back, a white background. I need black text and I need some padding. So let's do that. We'll do padding here.
say this. This will be on our A tag. And there they are. All right, so this, I think it says that we need to have a hover color of Hover color, let me just see that a little better. Hover background color on drop down menu items is light gray. So we're going to have to create that because I don't think we have a selector for that. Welcome to Selector Land. Huh? Look at all that. Look at all that. This is a child of that, which is why there's a space in between. It's a descendant. And this is a pseudo class. This is a child of that. So, color, uh, what is light gray? We'll do uh, CCC because that's always a good light gray. You'll get used to these colors eventually, I think, if you're into it. There. Where's my end? There. There we go. All right. N last thing to do is to style this, and that shouldn't take too long.